Something very intriguing happened to me this morning. As I was going through my usual morning routine, I happened across a gift that had been left for me on my dressing table. Not that this is unusual, I get left gifts quite often, I don't want to brag, but this gift was rather unusual. I haven't received this kind of gift before. And that gift was some tea. Now this tea has a very flattering image of me, uh, holding a pink teacup. I, I can't say I've ever held a pink teacup, pink isn't really my thing. Uh, but artistic license, I suppose. Anyway, it's called Too Pretty to Die. And it is tea inspired by myself. Now, I didn't realize I needed this in my life, but I feel like I don't really need anything else now. It's called Too Pretty to Die, and the ingredients are black tea, sweetened cranberries, almond slices, sunflower, and calendula petals. Now, that sounds divine. Now, I don't know who left this. The only clue I've been given is this calling card. Beastly beverages. Teas and coffees made in Britain. I'm not sure where Britain is. I think that might be the other side of Tevinta. It does ring a bell. My geography's a little bit off. But yes, thank you, Beastly Beverages. I will try this. Let's brew some up, shall we? Now, I'm sure most of you know how to make tea. But in case some of you don't, here's a vague tutorial. I have to say, it smells absolutely incredible. Firstly, take one scoop of tea, depending on how you like your tea. I don't like it too strong, so I just had one scoop today. And then you want to put the scoop of tea into your teapot, or whatever you make tea in, and fill it up with just off the boil water. Now you want to leave this for a couple of minutes, just it really depends on your taste. I usually leave it for about a minute or two. And I haven't used a strainer, which I probably should have earlier, but anyway, I pour the tea through a strainer into the teacup. I suppose this isn't really a teacup, it's a glass tea. I know. And there you are. You can add milk, honey, sugar, cold water to taste. I'm just having it neat today. I can't say I'm the neatest of tea makers. I spilt water everywhere, but I wasn't taught how to make tea from a young age. I can't be expected to make tea well. But I've made it. Let's try this tea. I'm very excited. I have it in my beautiful teacup here. Hmm. Yes. That. <sighs> you wouldn't think the fruit would come through, but it does. It's lovely. That is an incredible flavor. It's almost as if you're eating cake. It tastes like cake. You can taste the almond and the fruit. It, that is amazing. Yes, I have to say, if any tea tasted like me, this would be it. I think it would actually taste rather nice with milk, but I've decided not to have milk in it today. But go crazy, if you want to try this, I actually think maybe a little bit of honey might be nice as well. If you put a little bit of honey and a little bit of milk, I think that would be absolutely perfect. You can be assured that I will be buying more of this when I run out. I wonder if the Inquisitor would enjoy it. I have just been informed that Beastly Beverages not only make a tea inspired by my good self, but they also make tea inspired by Morrigan, which is fair enough, I suppose, Fenris, which does ring a bell, that name does ring a bell, and I think I can put a face to it. I think it's a very, very pretty elf that I used to see serving wine at Daenerys' parties. I could be wrong. And, more unusually, a tea inspired by Varric. Which, I mean, if hairy dwarves float your boat, then fantastic. You can drink some tea inspired by that small hairy man. I'm not one to judge. I need some more of this tea. Oh, that's lovely now. It's brewed a little more as well. The flavors come out much more if you brew it longer. Well, what can I say? This has been an intriguing morning. I was not expecting to be given this gift at all, but... 
It's going to make my life so much better now. So if you want to vastly improve your life, then I would suggest you buy tea that tastes of myself, because why wouldn't you want that? And it's not just me they've been inspired by, of course. I have mentioned Fenris and Morrigan and Varric. Those are the ones I know. I, I don't really know any other people. But feel free to check it out. There's a large selection there. But anyway, I would appreciate if you all got back to your usual business and left me alone to drink the rest of this tea. I, of course, have very important things to be doing today. Very important things. I'm sure... I'm not sure what the Inquisitor has planned for me today. Yesterday we were doing some strange side quests in the Hinterlands that seemed to last for the entirety of the day. So who knows what we're doing today. But I'm going to sit and drink this tea and prepare myself for whatever eventuality. Uh, yes? We're about to leave for the Hinterlands again. I've got Will and Sarah here waiting. We're going to get more goat meat for the refugees. Goat meat? But we got plenty of goat meat last time. We got goat meat yesterday. How much goat meat do they need? Well, not everyone's food is brought to them on a silver platter, Dory. This is what the Inquisition's doing. <sighs> I'm too pretty for this. Them, remember? Isn't that what you signed up to do? Come on, we're about to leave. Just, are you coming or not? <laughs> 